Brute, the essence of man. Let's smell. Welcome back to Stop and Smell. Thank you for liking my videos and subscribing. It really does help and I appreciate it. The first fragrance that I ever experienced happened when I was in elementary school. I received a gift set for Christmas containing a splash on cologne, shaving foam, and a deodorant. I was obviously too young to use the shaving foam, but I used the deodorant and I used the splash on. Even though I didn't have any facial hair, I still slapped it on and splashed when I first wore it, it made me feel more masculine. I was just a boy trying on a fragrance, slapping on an aftershave that I had no business trying on. And I'm pretty sure everyone has a similar story. Growing up, your grandfather, father, uncles, someone in your family wore this fragrance. The scent is full of nostalgia for a lot of people. This has been around since the 60s. Some people may think it's outdated or old-fashioned. I think it's the essence of masculinity. It's a plain cologne, barbershop, spicy floral, lavender. It smells so good. Yes, it's inexpensive. Yes, you could find it anywhere, any drugstore, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, you name it. The one I received in the gift set came in the plastic bottle. I wish it was this one, but unfortunately it's been reformulated. It's no longer Brut by Fabergé. It's been bought and acquired by other companies. Some people may say that it's not as strong as it used to be. I'm not referring to the EDT. I'm referring to the Splash On because that's what I had when I was a kid, believe it or not. And I own two versions of it. I own the green plastic bottle, the Splash On, and also the glass bottle aftershave. They're both very similar. Obviously, they don't have atomizers. Neither one of these bottles can be sprayed. So be careful. Obviously, when you remove the cap and you have to pour it, you might make a mess. So be careful. But that's part of the charm, right? You just splash it on and enjoy it. And the box is uh, pretty beat up. When I smell the glass bottle version, and there's the cap, to my nose it smells very close to what I remember wearing as a kid. However, when I apply this on skin, it doesn't retain that smell. It dies down a little quicker. It is an aftershave, so I'm not expecting it to last. But that opening, if you want to call it that, or when you first pour it onto your skin or slap it on, it's there but then it dies down and it kind of goes away. It blends in with your skin rather quickly. On the other hand, the plastic bottle version may be a little bit stronger concentration. It doesn't say aftershave and doesn't say EDT or cologne, it just says splash on. So you can use this for an aftershave, you can use this for a cologne, you can use it however you please. Now this one, from the bottle does remind me of that childhood brute also, but not as much as the glass bottle. However, when I put this on skin, it takes me back. It does smell more reminiscent than the glass bottle aftershave version, or at least it smells closer to what I remember. Of course, nothing's gonna be the same, but this one does last longer on my skin. The essence of man, it is such a great scent. I'm sure a lot of people will think it's cheap, it's uh, old fashioned, it's uh, antiquated, it's uh, it doesn't have a purpose anymore, but I beg to differ. And so do many others, I believe, because it's available pretty much anywhere you wanna buy it, any drugstore, like I said. This was about $5. It may not be a masterpiece to most people. And of course, all the fragrances that I have, niche fragrances, designer fragrances, those are much more expensive. But sometimes it's not the price, it's the sentimental value. And Brute does have that going for it. Top notes, anise, lavender, basil, bergamot, lemon. Mid notes, geranium, ylang-ylang, jasmine. Base notes, oak moss, vetiver, patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla sandalwood. It's a very masculine barbershop fragrance. No nonsense. It gets straight to the point. It smells clean. It smells fresh. It smells good. It smells what a man used to smell like. It's refreshing. It's green. It's herbal. It's woody, musky, and it's very aromatic. At the top, I do pick up that lavender and a touch of that 
anise, and maybe even a little basil. It does maintain a little bit of the citrus and some florals into the mid. And I even pick up a little patchouli along the way towards the dry down, if you want to call it that. And there is the sandalwood to even everything out to become a little more woody. It's just a great masculine scent. It has that old school vibe, but it's not outdated. It's smooth, it's floral. There's also Brute's Special Reserve, and that's a stronger concentration. It's the bottle with the plaque on it. There's also Brute, the original EDT. I can't speak on those two because I never owned those. I only own the splash on, like I said, but I hear that it's very similar to the splash on. Only difference might be that it's a stronger concentration. Let me know in the comments what your experience with Brute is. Which one have you owned throughout the years? What are your opinions now? For the price you pay, I think it's a timeless masterpiece. I know that's saying a lot for a $5 fragrance, but like I said, the sentimental value is well worth that $5. It transports you back to your childhood if you had it as a child, or those relatives who wore it around you, like I said, whether your grandfather, father, uncles. For the scent itself, I would give this a 10, again, for the price range. It smells so good. The masculinity factor, this is a 10. This is what a man should smell like. Longevity Longevity, obviously, is not the greatest. Might be moderate, seven for the price. The nostalgia factor, that is off the scales. That's a 10. I wonder if any teenagers nowadays would even bother to pick up Brute. They probably think it's old fashioned. They probably think it's outdated. So I'm wondering everyone's thoughts out there. In 2022, is anyone still using it? Let me know in the comments. What's your experience with Brute throughout the years? throughout your fragrance journey. Thanks again for joining me. Until next time, enjoy your fragrances.